Hello and welcome to my latest video where I'm adding 10 more fighters um, into my top thousand countdown. On this video we are counting down fighters number 480 to 471. Some people may not know this fighter on the picture but who that is will be revealed. Um, a guy who had a very tough resume. So let us go to the first fighter. Um, this fighter is fighter number 480, okay, and a very tough um, contender he was it is Charles Humez. Now, Charles Humez, okay, beat no world champions. He had a total of two fights against world champions, um, and Charles Humez had a total of 25 rounds against champions in his career. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, he beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He did have two fights against Hall of Famers overall. And he fought a total of 25 rounds against Hall of Famers. And another fighter, Charles Humez, who never had a world title fight. He had zero world title fights. Therefore, also made zero title defences and fought a total of zero title fight rounds. <laughs> One of many fighters, dozens, um, on my top thousand countdown. Now, Charles Humez, okay, beat one pound-for-pound -pound rated fighter. And he had a total of three fights overall. Um, against pound for pound rated fighters and in terms of fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers Charles Humez comes in with a total of 26 um, so a very tough contender from his time capable fighter not a great fighter but a capable fighter and contender indeed um, who fought a lot of contenders in his time so Charles Humez is number 480 now we get on to the fighter who was in actually on that intro slide okay this is fighter number 479 the tough and rugged heavyweight contender, Lee Savold. So Lee Savold, okay, beat one world champion in his career and he had a total overall of four fights against world champions. Now Lee Savold comes in having fought a total of 34 rounds against champions and against Hall of Fame fighters, Lee Savold beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He did have four fights against Hall of Famers overall and Lee Savold fought a total of 34 rounds against Hall of Famers. Now, in world title fights, surprise, surprise, Lisa Vold had zero world title fights. He also made zero title defences and fought zero title fight rounds. And against pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters, okay, Lisa Vold beat one pound-for-pound -pound rated fighter. And he had a total, okay, of seven fights against pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters throughout his career. Now, in terms of fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers, Lee Savold has far left the figure that is when many fighters in the bottom 200 of my countdown didn't even hit double figures in that. Okay, Lee Savold uh, has come in with a massive total of 39. 39 fights against rated fighters, champions, Hall of Famers, which is not a massive number compared to some fighters to come in the countdown, but he's a huge figure. Is it the highest figure I've had so far? Have I had one higher? I'm not sure, but that's a huge number. So fighter number 478, okay, is um, Hogan Kid Bassey. Now, Hogan Kid Bassey beat one world champion in his career. He had a total of three fights against world champions and Hogan Kid Bassey fought a total of 33 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, he has the same figures, okay? He's beaten one Hall of Fame fighter. He's had a total of three fights against Hall of Famers overall. And Hogan Kid Bassey fought a total of 33 rounds throughout his career against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Hogan Kid Bassey did have a world title fight, okay? He had three world title fights. Hogan Kid Bassey made zero title defences. And Bassi fought a total of 27 title fight rounds. Now against pound for pound rated fighters, Hogan Kid Bassi beat one pound for pound rated fighter. And he had a total of three fights against pound for pounders overall. And Hogan Kid Bassi, in terms of fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, um, Bassi comes in with a total of 23. Have a quick drink. So Hogan Kid Bassey is in number 478. Now let us go to fighter number 477 um, to a fantastic Welsh fighter. Great little battler he was. Um, it is one Howard Winston. Now Howard Winston um, beat one world champion in his career. Howard Winston also had a total of five fights against world champions. And Winston fought a total of 57 rounds throughout his career against champions now against hall of fame fighters howard winston beat no hall of fame fighters he had a total of three fights overall against hall of famers and howard winston comes in having fought a total of 42 rounds 
against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in world title fights, Howard Winston had five world title fights. He made zero title defences, and Winston fought a total of 56 title fight rounds overall. And against pound-for-pound rated fighters, Howard Winston beat one pound-for-pound rated fighter, and he had a total of five fights against pound-for-pound rated fighters overall. Those are two stats. I've got like 16 stats in my pound-for-pound database. They are just two of them. So Howard Winston had a total of 22 fights against rated fighters champions or Hall of Famers. And he is widely regarded as a fantastic um, fighter produced by Wales. So Howard Winston is number 477. Let us now go on to a former world champion in number 476. And that former world champion is Juan Martin Kodji. Now, Juan Martin Kodji beat five world champions. He had a total of nine fights against world champions overall. Um, and Juan Martin Kodji fought a total of 88 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Famers, he beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He had no fights against Hall of Famers either, and thus he fought no rounds against Hall of Famers. But one thing what he does have is a large title fight record. He comes in with a total um, overall of 16 world title fights. Um, Koji also made 10 title defences um, in his career, and he fought a total of 134 title fight rounds. Now, against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters, Juan Martin Kodji beat one pound-for-pound pound rated fighter, and he had a total of three fights uh, throughout his career against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters. And in fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers, Juan Martin Kodji comes in with a low total down at this level now of just hitting double figures at 10. So, from Howard Winston to Juan Martin Kodji, okay, two form world champions before that, Bassi before that, fighters who never had title shots like Savold and Humez. Now, let us go on to our next fighter, uh, fighter number 475 in my top thousand countdown. He took part in one of the most brutal fight series I have ever seen against his opponent, natural opponent, Israel Vasquez, a fight that changed facial features over time. Rafael Marquez. Now, Rafael Marquez, okay, was a fantastic little fighter. He beat five world champions. Rafael Marquez had a total of 14 fights against world champions, and all in all, he fought 117 rounds against them. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Rafael Marquez beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had two fights against Hall of Famers overall, um, and Marquez fought a total of 18 rounds against Hall of Famers, not title fight rounds that I put there. Now, in world title fights, Rafael Marquez had 13 world title fights. He made a total of seven title defences and fought just over 100 title fight rounds, coming in with a total of 103. And against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters, Rafael Marquez beat one pound-for-pound pound rated fighter, and he had a total of five fights overall um, against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters in his career. And in fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Rafael Marquez comes in with a total of 20, a nice round 20. So, like I say, if you have not seen his fight series with Israel Vasquez, you must watch those fights. They are brutal. So, let us go on to our next fighter, fighter number 474, okay, is Big Sandy Ferguson, who wasn't actually that big, but they called him Big Sandy Ferguson. Sandy Ferguson beat four world champions in his career, and Ferguson had a total of 19 fights against world champions overall, and he fought a total of over 200 rounds against champions, coming in with a total of 210. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Sandy Ferguson beat two Hall of Fame fighters, and he had a total of 15 fights against Hall of Fame opponents. And in the rounds fought against Hall of Famers, Sandy Ferguson comes in having fought 168 rounds against Hall of Famers. Now, in world title fights, surprise, surprise, Sandy Ferguson had no world title fights. He made no title defences and fought no title fight rounds. And this is why when people say nowadays... Fighters are being mothballed and not given opportunities. This is why I think it's rubbish, because when you study the history, dozens and dozens and dozens of fighters never even got a title shot. So because these guys don't get four or five, I'm supposed to think they're badly done to. Sandy Ferguson beat two pound-for-pound rated fighters, had a large tally of 17 fights against pound-for-pounders, and fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. For a pre-rating era fighter, he still hit 20, so obviously that number would have been way bigger. 
So fighter number 473, okay, is the Filipino multiweight world champion, current active fighter, coming off the loss to Kazuta Ioka, it is Donny Nietes. Donny Nietes, fantastic little fighter that he is, has beaten nine world champions in his career, and Nietes has had a total of 11 fights against world champions, and Nietes has fought. 105 rounds in his career against champions. Now, Donny Nietes as a modern fighter is unlikely to have all the fame as most modern fighters do. Some do. But Donny Nietes has beaten no Hall of Fame fighters. He's had no fights against Hall of Famers and fought no rounds against Hall of Famers. But Donny Nietes has a huge title fight record across the multi-divisions. He's captured titles. He has 20 world title fights, Nietes. Um, he's also made a total of 14 title defences and fought a total of 198 title fight rounds. And against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters, Nietes beat one pound-for-pound pound rated fighter and he's had a total of two fights against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters overall. And in fights against rated fighters, champions are Hall of Famers. Nietes has a total of 14. So Nietzsche is clearly old now, closer to the end than the beginning. What he'll add going forward, we don't know. Um, but any adjustments to his score will be made and he will move to where he needs to be. So fighter number 472 is Vic Darcini, and a bit of an underrated fighter down at those lower weight divisions sometimes. Uh, I still remember him when he battered Irene Pacheco, uh, was it? Uh, yeah, fantastic fighter, Vic Darcini, and he beat eight world champions, Darcini, and he had a total of 17 fights against world champions, fighting 137 rounds against them. Now, Darcini has beaten no Hall of Fame fighters up to now. He's had no fights against Hall of Famers, and thus fought zero rounds against Hall of Famers. But in world title fights... Vic Darchinian has a large title fight record across multiple weights. He comes in with a total of 18 world title fights. Darchinian has made a total of 10 title defences and he has fought a total 151 title fight rounds. Now against pound for pound rated fighters, Vic Darchinian beat no pound for pound rated fighters and he had a total of 4 fights throughout his career against pound for pounders. And as a modern fighter, okay, he eats quite a decent tally in fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, um, coming in with a total of 21. So Darchinian fought across multiple weights, you know, captured multiple belts, had a large title fight record for a lot of rated opposition, a lot of champions. So, the last fighter of the video, fighter number 471, a more recent blue screen, is Henry Hank. Now, Henry Hank beat two world champions in his career, and Henry Hank had a total of eight fights against world champions overall, and he fought a combined 79 rounds against champions. Now, in terms of Hall of Famers, Henry Hank beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had a total of six fights against Hall of Famers, and fought a total of 66 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Henry Hank, okay, beat one, uh, had no world title fights, sorry. He made no title defences and fought no title fight rounds. So that's so many, even on this video. But when you look back at other videos, there's loads of them. So Henry Hank beat one pound for pound rated fighter, and he had a total of six fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall. Now, Henry Hank's total of fights against rated fighters or champions or Hall of Famers is a little bit higher than Savold's 39. Henry Hank comes in with 40. And Henry Hank's resume is very tough, okay? Very, very tough. You know, so even though Nietzsche has the title record, he doesn't have the resume that can even compare to Henry Hank. You know, that's just sadly how it is. Um, so... That is the end of my latest video, numbers 408 to 471. I will keep churning till the playlist is done. Then I can forever sleep, as Yoda would say. I'm out for now.